<laughs> What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk In Your Pocket and today we are back in Vzhezh, the neighborhood of Vzhezh. Uh, we've talked a little bit about it in the past. Uh, right now I'm on Rondo Gunter Grasera, which is named after the famous author who used to live in this neighborhood and grew up in this neighborhood. Uh, and that way is Vaidalotta Street. And today we're going that way to our destination. Today's Foodie Friday recommendation comes from Chaima Galul, and Chaima has recommended uh, Ajima. And Ajima is a Tatar restaurant here in Vzhezh. Some of you may be thinking that it's a little random that there's a Tatar restaurant in Gdańsk, let alone Poland. Uh, but in actual fact, there's quite a significant Tatar community in Poland. Uh, they've been here since the 14th century. They were an important ally during the times of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And as far as I understand, in the east of Poland today, you can find many Tatar mosques around the place. Now, as for the cuisine, uh, I personally have never tried Tatar cuisine. Um, I don't know what the closest reference would be, but nevertheless, I'm super keen to try it out. And here we are. So I said to the guy at the counter, Proszę coś typowego tatarskiego, something typically Tatar. And this is what he gave me. Now, me as uh, an Australian who's grown up around Greek communities would say that these are dolmades. There's a lot of uh, chili on these. And um, in Tatar cuisine, these are called sarma. Now, apparently there's rice and there's lamb meat. So we'll see how we go. Okay, wish me luck. My first time eating Tatar cuisine. Smachnego. Mm. This reminds me of domades, like I said. But it's got a little bit more dimension in it in terms of spice. Mm, it's really nice. Nice mix. Nice mix that it's become in the in the vine leaf. Now just just uh, to keep myself regular, so to speak, I'm gonna have some capsicum, aka paprika. Oops. Of course, they also included some sauces, so I mustn't forget about that. Since I've got eight pieces of sarma, I'm gonna give some of these a go. By the looks of it, that's some kind of chili sauce, huh? Dip my tongue in. Mm. Mm. Fairly, oh yeah, it's got a little bit of kick. All right, let's dip. This is always where things go terribly wrong for me, so I'm going to be extra careful. Oh look, the vine leaf is tearing. Mmm. Oh yeah, nice kick. Just dip a little bit more, not good. Won't overdo it, huh? Mmm. Sarma and tomato chili sauce. Very good. Excellent mix. Part two of my little Tatar adventure is the soup. A lot of plastic on this. Ladies and gentlemen, Shanovni Painstvo, to jest Lagman. Lagman, I didn't really read the, the description, but this is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, how heavenly. I'm so glad that I got a soup with my sarma. I thought the sarma, to be honest, when I looked at the menu, based on the price, I thought the sarma was gonna be the main course, but look at that. Heaven. Okay, smudge nego. Like mine. Oh. Mm. So this is a tomato-based stew. Mm. Definitely, I, it, I'm sure it's lamb meat. It tastes like lamb. And there's some noodles in there too. And some noodle and some carrot. Yum. Wish to that. Mm. Well, I'm well and truly surprised because when I was thinking about Tatar cuisine, I wasn't sure whether 
The closest reference would be Turkish or Georgian or something. But you know, it's Central Asian cuisine. You know, it's a little bit of everything, quite frankly. So you may have heard of baklava before. I think it's a Turkish sweet from memory. You know, the pastry that's layered with pistachio nuts and it's very sweet, sticky, you know, that kind of thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this, these are Tatar baklava. This is fantastic. This is gonna get very sticky, but I'm up for it. Okay, look at that. It's like a seashell or a shark egg case or something. It's much never. Mmm. Very, very thick. Mmm. These are not as sweet as Turkish baklava, I have to say, which is an advantage. But look at that string of caramelized sugar. Come to think of it, it looks like a clog, like a Dutch clog. Well, the other one certainly did. Anyway. Mmm. -hmm. As much as I say I'm not a sweet tooth, and I don't like things overly sweet, honestly, I think I probably prefer Turkish baklava, but these are still pretty good, all right? So guys, to finish up my review, I'm back at home uh, because my phone battery went flat. So here we go. So let's talk about Ajima and presentation, or as we say, looks. Uh, everything was beautifully presented. Uh, five. I have no problems with that. Next, we should talk about the build. Again, no problems. Five for build. However, one thing that Ajima will not score very highly on is their packaging. Uh, their packaging, unfortunately, was mostly plastic. Uh, however, the main bag was, of course, paper. So, I'm going to be generous and give them a two for packaging. Now for all important taste, um, everything was fantastic. Uh, it's the first time I've ever eaten Tatar cuisine, like I mentioned, um, and I was mostly impressed. Um, I don't really have any complaints. So um, I am going to give taste four and a half because I'm gonna leave room for a half for next time. How about that? And to summarize, value. Um, I paid 53 zwatties for everything, for three courses, technically. Uh, and I was worried about the uh, sarma, which was the most expensive dish in the order. That was 26 zwatis by itself. However, the uh, lagman soup definitely made up for it, for the portion, I should say. Um, and at the end, I was rather full. So, for value, I can't complain. Uh, five for value. So there we go. Ajima. What did you think guys? Uh, have you been to Ajima before or perhaps there's somewhere else you'd like me to try out? Uh, leave your comments below uh, and in the meantime you can check out uh, all the content we have on the Tri-City at facebook.com slash in your pocket and we're also on Instagram at in your pocket and until next time have a good week.